This chart shows the change in transmission capacity of optical and wireless telecommunication networks over time. As it can be seen, actual wireless systems offer transmission capacities of up to a few hundred megabits per second. This is insufficient for most modern multimedia applications. It is thought that future broadband wireless transmission systems will be able of transmitting up to 10 gigabit per second in about 3 to 5 years from now. Those future broadband wireless transmission systems are also expected to offer optical fiber connection because the optical fiber is the dominating wire transmission media at such high transmission speeds. In response to this need, we have developed a broadband fiber and wireless transmission system offering a capacity of up to 10 gigabit per second. Such systems are needed for enabling access to the broadband fiber optic infrastructure to remote located end users. Looking at the wireless carrier frequency, we expect that future high capacity wireless transmission systems must operate in the millimeter wave frequency range. This is because the available bandwidth for wireless transmission systems within the license free bands in the microwave region is too small for delivering capacities as high as 10 gigabit per second. Only within the millimeter wave frequency range at 60 gigahertz there is a sufficient bandwidth of 7 GHz available which is needed for future broadband wireless transmission systems. This shows the system setup of the broadband fiber wireless transmission system that we have developed in EFOBAC. This system operates in the 60 GHz band. By using a cascaded optical millimeter wave carrier generation and modulation approach, we have achieved a huge wireless transmission capacity. Also, we have constructed a compact photonic wireless transmitter and a compact wireless receiver unit for outdoor experiments. Using our system, we have achieved broadband wireless transmission of 10 gigabit Ethernet signals over wireless distances exceeding 40 meters. We even have achieved wireless transmission of 12.5 gigabit per second, a world record. By using high gain antennas, we will be able to transmit the 10 gigabit Ethernet signals over air for several hundred meters, even when heavy rainfall is considered. The radio over fiber technology that we have developed in EFUBAC is not only suitable for access applications. By relocating the various units into a house, we can also support broadband multimedia applications in the home. Our goal is to develop a 60 GHz wireless home area network with a transmission capacity of at least 1 gigabit per second. The home area network we have developed consists of the optical millimeter wave generation and modulation unit. This unit converts the incoming signal to an optical millimeter wave signal which is then transmitted via optical fiber to the remote photonic wireless transmitter unit. Here the optical signal is converted into the electrical domain and transmitted within the 60 GHz band to the wireless receiver. Here at ICT 2008 we demonstrate the capabilities of our fiber wireless home area system. For demonstration we have connected a high definition video audio player to the optical millimeter wave generation and modulation unit of our system. After being transmitted via optical fiber and via air, this high definition video audio signal is displayed using a full HD TV. Note that for transmitting a 1080 interlaced HD video audio signal, a transmission capacity of about 1.5 gigabit per second is required. For 1080 progressive HD video audio signal, even 3 gigabit per second are required. No currently available wireless transmission system would be capable of doing this. This photo shows the constructed photonic 60 GHz generation and modulation unit. This unit converts the high definition video audio signal into an optical millimeter wave signal. The key component in this unit is a 60 GHz quantum dash mode locked laser guide 
that we have developed. This mode lock laser does not only generate the optical 60 GHz signal, it is also used to convert the high definition video audio signal into the optical domain. This photo shows the 60 GHz photonic wireless transmitter unit on the left hand side and the wireless 60 GHz receiver unit on the right hand side. The key component of the photonic wireless transmitter on the left hand side is an ultra high frequency photodiode. This high frequency photodiode is needed to convert the optical millimeter wave signal back into the electrical domain. Using mature indium phosphide materials, as well as optical waveguide technology and electronic millimeter wave circuitries, we have developed ultra high frequency photodetector and modulator chips. This photo shows some of the developed high frequency photodetector chips. We also developed a new package concept for such high frequency photodiode chips that features a small coaxial electrical output connector. This package supports high frequency millimeter wave operation up to 110 GHz. This chart shows the frequency response of the packaged photodetectors. As can be seen, operation up to 100 GHz is achieved. The frequency roll-off up to 100 GHz is clearly below 3 dB. Und zielt, wer dann hier diese Flugübertragung.